Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. This is my first video and I decided to make my grandmother-in-law's million dollar pound cake recipe. Something that I've been wanting to kind of perfect just because my children love her pound cakes so much and she's a phenomenal cook and baker. I don't know if I'll ever live up to her pound cake, but I did want to give it a try. Last time I tried to make her pound cake, I was told that it was okay, but it didn't taste like hers. So hopefully this time um, I have managed to get as close to her pound cake as I can. And so we've already made it. This is the finished product, um, but we will show you exactly how um, I made it step by step. So stay tuned. Oh yes. Well, I won't be tasting it, mm -hmm. but I do have taste testers who will tell me if I did a good job or not, and they will be very honest, so. All right, we have three cups of sugar, one cup of softened butter, and one cup of butter flavor Crisco, one cup of whole milk at room temperature, six large eggs at room temperature, four cups of all-purpose flour sifted three times and we'll be using two teaspoons of vanilla and one teaspoon of lemon extract all right so now we're going to um, put our butter and our margarine um, in our mixing bowl and we are going to add our sugar because we need to beat this mixture until it's light and fluffy. And so um, this is probably going to take about eight to 10 minutes. Um, I usually beat on around like a medium, medium speed. Um, and don't start off on a high or a medium speed because the sugar will fly, fly out of the bowl like mine did just a second ago. Um, you wanna gradually increase the speed and let it go as i would say for initially i'll let it go for about three or four minutes and then i'll stop it and scrape down the sides because you want to make sure to get everything incorporated and so this is me scraping it down because you can see the butter is already starting to change color starting to get lighter and now we'll let it go for another two to three minutes as you can see, the texture is getting lighter and lighter and fluffier. And now I'm scraping down the sides again. Oh, as you can see, that's the kind of the texture you want. And now just scraping down the sides and I'm adding my extracts, two teaspoons of vanilla and one teaspoon of lemon. And I'm going to beat that on medium speed for a little bit. Then I'm gonna add my eggs one at a time. So you wanna make sure each egg gets incorporated before you add the next egg. And now we're scraping down the sides again and try not to make your attachment fall out like I did. All right. I'm beating for a few minutes or not, not maybe 30 seconds now we're going to be adding the flour and the milk so you want to add it in several batches so i'm adding a third of the flour first and then i'm going to beat on like a low speed then i'm going to add half of the milk now i'm going to scrape down the sides and I'm gonna add um, another third of the flour. Beat on low speed again. And then I'm gonna add the rest of the milk. And then add the final batch of flour. Beat on low speed. I'm gonna scrape down the sides again and now I'm gonna beat on medium for about a minute just to kind of get everything incorporated. You don't wanna over mix the batter, otherwise the cake will be really dense and gummy. And now I'm pouring the batter into a 10 inch tube pan. 
that I've sprayed with Baker's Joy to make sure that nothing sticks. It's, it's hard getting everything in without making a mess and also to where the camera can see. All right, now I'm smoothing out the batter. And now I'm just gonna just drop it up and down on the counter a few times to get rid of any air bubbles. And this is the finished product. I baked it at 325 for like an hour and 20 minutes, I believe. And now I'm letting it cool on a wire rack. All right, guys, now it's time for the moment of truth. My taste testers are here. And so I'm gonna cut everyone a piece and they are going to give their honest opinion on this cake and let me know how close it comes to Ma's pound cake. Right. So the actual pound cake. Mmm. All right. Camera woman. You want me to taste? Yes, you can taste. Okay. I'll just put my hand right here and try to eat at the same time. Why don't you just break off a piece? This is okay. okay, pretty close. Okay, the texture is there. Look at your face. <laughs> I'm just, oh no, the texture is there, but it's, just, mm -hmm. it's a little harder. I feel like it most was a little softer. <laughs> or fluffy. No, not fluffy, it's softer. It wasn't as dense? Mm hmm Okay. There's like a little sweetness to it. I think the difference mm -hmm. is in the lemon extract. From last time, definitely. No, I'm talking about with Muff. Really? Mm-hmm. So you don't... I feel like she used a little bit more. Oh, more more lemon extract? I think she did. Okay. I can see that. Okay. Because when you taste it, it's like... Sometimes you might even think like a lemon loaf or something. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Okay. So I guess I gotta add more lemon extract. Okay. Because <laughs> last time I don't even think it was good. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, the last one was good. This is better. This one's better? Mm hmm. Well, yeah. Closer to Muzz. Did I taste the last one? I think you did. The last Christmas, right? Yeah, it was during Christmas. Oh. Uh, yeah. I was for definitely getting there. Okay. I guess I'll just have to try adding more e lemon extract. Mm hmm Okay. All right. Well, there you have it. Closer. I'm almost there. Hey. Hey. Ta -da. So this is for the family? <laughs> hey, y'all. <laughs> Oh. Oh. Hello, everybody. <laughs>